Lately I've received a lot of emails about how to create a knockdown stitch. This is a brief tutorial that will demonstrate how to do this in PE Design 10. For this tutorial, instead of having annotations appear on your screen giving you direction, I'm using the closed captioning feature. To view the text, click on the closed caption button at the bottom of your video screen. We will begin this lesson with a pattern already set up in layout and editing. Click on the Select Tool down arrow and choose Select All. Click on the Embroidered Patch Wizard. Choose No for Satin Stitch. Choose the desired distance from the pattern. I selected 3.0 millimeters and then click OK. In the Sewing Order window, scroll down to the bottom. You will see the outline that was generated in the Embroidered Patch Wizard. Click off the design to deselect the design. In the Sewing Order window, click on the outline and then click on the Select Patterns icon. On the Shapes tab, choose Net Fill Stitch from the Region Sew drop-down menu. In the Integrated Sewing Attributes window, click on the Sewing Attributes tab if it isn't active. Choose the third style of Net Fill and change the spacing to 2 mm. If you decide you don't want it this dense, you can use the default software settings. In the Sewing Order window, scroll down to the outline and fill that were generated. These are the last two items. The net fill and outline should be highlighted. Right mouse click on one of them and choose Sew First. Scroll to the top of the Sewing Order window. The net fill and outline will be in the first two positions. Place your cursor just to the outside of the first item. Hold the left mouse button down and draw around the first two items in the Sewing Order window. In the Integrated Sewing Attributes window, click on the Color tab. From the Thread Chart drop-down menu, select a color palette. Select a color for the knockdown stitch that matches the item you are embroidering. That way it will disappear. Save the design and send it to your embroidery machine. This topic and more are covered in my Digitizing So Easy version 10 workbook.